Choice Prom American Wagyu Black Label American Wagyu Gold Label. Is there a difference? Mm. Hey guys, welcome to Charcoal King. Well, today we're going to find out. So, Snake River Farms, we got the black label, we got the gold label. We're going to reverse sear them, bring those bad boys up to like a medium rare. I'm pumped. You guys stay tuned. All right guys, so a little quick background before we get started, how we do the grill, how we're gonna do these steaks. So let's zoom into here. So we went out today and we bought a choice ribeye. So this is what their standard choice look like, okay? This is what their prom choice ribeye look like. As you can see, there's not much difference in the marbling or the fat. Matter of fact, the only reason why I purchased the prom today is because this board right here. If I was in the grocery store and I looked at this, I would not have purchased this for the more expensive price over the choice. To me, it's the same cut of beef. One's got a higher sticker price than the other one. You can see it's got a nice cap on it right there. The eye of it looks very similar marbled. So for me, the prime today was not worth it. We're going to piggyback. We're going to come back to that in one second. Don't forget that. All right. But let's move over to what we came here for. Snake River Farms. You guys know that you've seen the ads. They're all over all over your social media. And I thought, is it really that good? Can they be that good? So this is American Wagyu beef. And we splurged a little bit. We've got them. You guys can see the prices online. It's not a cheap cut of meat. But for me, it's well worth every penny spent. Because without knowing, I'm never going to know. And it drives me nuts. But let's do this. So the black label is anywhere from like a six to 10 on the scale, okay? The gold label, they say is like from a nine, ooh, from a nine to a 10. So that means you're getting the best quality premium American Wagyu possible. So this is a standard prom and this is American Wagyu. And when you're talking about the fat inside of the ribeyes, look at the difference. Look at all this marbling that you're getting. I'm trying to be very good and not mix these up but how much marbling difference there is. Now to come back over here, we buy our ribeyes on sale from another grocery store for about $5.99 a pound, maybe $6.49. And we'll buy two, three, four whole ribeyes. We'll have the butcher do whatever we want to with them. They're very friendly. That's how I met one of my best friends uh, was from the meat market, basically. This is another grocery store. We're gonna leave them out of it. But just to give you guys an idea, this is $16.99 a pound right here. It's not on sale. This is $18.99 a pound. It's not on sale. So this is choice and this is prime. And I can tell you, I would be, I would not have purchased either one of these today in the market at any store with the labeling of these. So what happens is really quick before we get started, somebody from somewhere, they're scattered all across the country and there's thousands of them, determine what cut of beef goes where. If they've got eight orders of prime going out that day, they pick the very best ones out of the eight, they move on and it just shuffles down the list, okay? <clears throat> My personal opinion, which I'm not a meatologist, I'm not a meat uh, stamper, but I'm telling you now, I get way, way better marbling from my guy than I do with these right here and I pay way less price. You're talking about $5.99 or $6.49 a pound and these are almost 20 bucks a pound for something that to me, I wouldn't even purchase for $5.99 or $6.99. He would cut this and send a picture of me and say, hey, I'm going to skip this one for you because it's not well well enough marbled. All right. Here's a quick picture of an image that I received not too long ago showing that, hey, I just opened these up. Are you interested? And as you can see, these bad boys are loaded with marbling, and that's what the good ribeyes are all about. Now, these were $5.99 for these ribeyes, and those strips were going into the case. You can't beat that. All right, enough about these. I'm done with that. The reason why we had those out there, because as a consumer, I want you guys to know, just because it's labeled prom, just because it's labeled choice, doesn't necessarily mean in your eyes it meets your criteria. To me, it doesn't. So that's something that you guys have to look at. Just because it's labeled doesn't mean that you're getting the best of the best. 
But that doesn't seem like it's the case on these two. I'm telling you that right now. I'm super stoked. So here we are. So this is just leftover charcoal from my last cook, okay? I'm gonna get dive into deep because there's not really a lot to do in this one, okay? So all I'm gonna do is kind of just brush my coals apart. That lets the residue fall down. We're gonna open our damper on the bottom. And I've got a video about how to make your grill as a smoker. Today, no different. Two zone system. We're gonna light a couple coals, bring our grill up to temperature. It's gonna feed the coal system. And then we're gonna get this bad boy piping hot. And we're about to chow down on some good steaks, I can tell you right now. Here's my trusty lighter that didn't work the other day. It was out of gas and I had to refill it. All right, guys, so you can see not all my charcoals are lit. That's a good hot fire right there. So I'm just gonna move my grill grates over. Put my hickory in there. And now what we're gonna do is shut the grill and we're just gonna bring it up to temp. So all you're looking for, we're gonna shoot for, for about 250 to 275. It's really not gonna matter. All we're gonna do is put our steaks on the grill, allow that smoke to adhere to the steaks, bring the steaks up to temperature, and get this thing popping hot to sear them things off. Now this is probably our biggest argument. What should we put on it? I've asked every single person I know that would give me an honest answer. What should I put on it? Some people are salt and pepper, connoisseur some people say with a steak that expensive you shouldn't have to put anything on it simple some people say there's no way that you should reverse sear it because all the fat in it um so it seemed like no matter who i asked we got different answers so i just went with my core we cook steaks all the time and i'm going with what i love so we're going with a charcoal king steak seasoning i'm going to season liberally just like i would any ribeye And we're gonna do this with both sides. All right, so we're about 270 right now. So that's, that's gonna be fun. Now remember, you gotta, you gotta remember this. That's the gold, that's the black. I'm gonna pull them off about 110, what time is it? I don't know. Well, you didn't check? No. All right, so the same idea, to cool down the grill, you close the vents, to warm up the grill, you open the vents. So let's get it back open, keep the lid open. We're gonna work with the coals. And I've said many times, when in doubt, make a cheeseburger make an extra slab of ribs, make something. And that's what we're gonna do today. Today, we're making these uh, burgers for the girls. They're not really big steak fans, but what's gonna happen? This is the key. This is the key. You don't have to do it, but it's pretty cool. Get the burgers on there. All that fat drips down in a nice set flame. Gets the coal super hot. Then you're able to put those steaks back on there and it's downhill from there. But I'm telling you, you get that char on the edge. Ooh. All right. This is the black, right on it, okay? And this is the gold. Now remember, we pulled these at 110, so it's not gonna take long. The good thing about the Weber is these grates, you wanna find a hot spot, move it off. See how I can control it just like that? Just like that. So we're gonna let these go, I'm gonna keep the grill open I'm looking for that intense sear on the outside. Woo. Closing the lid allows that fire to die down. Don't be alarmed. Don't be worried. I want that. I want that flame kissed. Ooh. See how much that fire dies down. Now we'll come back. Once that fat starts dripping on it again, but it's an easy way to control it.
Now, typically when we do a ribeye, we'll have the plate out. I'll set it right on top of a pat of butter for me and my wife with like a little squish of Worcestershire sour sauce. But this is about as far as I'm gonna take it on the uh, what if meter. So we're let these rest. It's very important to let them rest. You spend all the money, you spend all the time. All right guys, so the moment of the truth. So here we go. We got the gold label and the black label. So I'm just gonna cut them right in half. See what kind of nonsense we got. Oh yeah. Looks perfect. Yeah. That's what I expect. Look at all that juice just pulling up. I mean, this thing is just loaded. Whew. Boy, you can see like the fat lines. Oh yeah, you don't even have to touch it. All right, so how are we gonna do this? Are you gonna taste it with me? Yeah. All right guys, so we're gonna slice into this a little bit. I'm gonna try my best to keep my fingers out of it. I don't know if you can hear that crunch, that crust. Between that seasoning and that hot grill, mm, I know you can smell it. You gotta smell it? Mm. All right, mm. there we go. Now this is the gold, no, the black, this is the black. Creme of the creme. This is creme, the highest. Creme de la creme. Yeah, that one too. This is the highest rated Wagyu beef that they offer. And we're eating it with our fingers. <laughs> mm. All right, guys, so this is my honest opinion. Is a Snake River Farms Wagyu American Beef black and gold label worth it? Yeah, I mean, it's dang good. Uh, is it something I'm gonna just purchase just like auto cart, just like reship it? No, not for our family. We buy very, very good steaks, $5.99, $6.99 a pound. This is almost like $100 a pound, so you figure about $100 a ribeye. Would I buy it on a special occasion? You bet you. Would I like to give it to my father? or my father-in-law for a Father's Day present or a Christmas present or something like that. Yeah, I mean, I'm a, I mean, I'm a, I'm a believer. I mean, these steaks are good. I mean, they are, they're flat out good. Hey, I hope I've taught you something today. If you're on the fence, like I said, I bought it with my own money. So there's no uh, finagling going on. This is just my pure opinion. I think it's a great steak. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound that notification button, share it with your friends. And I'll see you next time. Peace.